If I come through stun, they don't even look my way If, if, if you catch a glimpse, you might blind yourself I dress like I really, really love myself I got six bad broads and they love my way right, look, so I will, I'm not even sure if I'm gonna upload this video I'm gonna try live commentary again because like, fuck it, right? But this is one motherfucker keeps asking for a damn story video And you know what, like Gameplay videos get boring, like what the fuck Like, I mean I was trying to milk them pretty hard But like, it's gonna be the same thing And I know, there's one dude that always complains about it being on fucking Nuketown Like, bro, it's an easy map to do whenever I want to fucking commentate, right? Like, I don't have to sweat my asshole off to play Nuketown That's why I like it I do actually have a sniping video on Rust, but like I got like a 50 kill game but, like, I didn't fucking commentate, so it'll be weird to upload, because it's just gonna be, like... Dude, it feels like my old content. I just throw, like, fucking music over it, and then I upload it. And, like, I mean, I guess some people, like, don't mind that content. But it's so low effort that it actually hurts me to upload, right? Like, I mean, I know I fucking milk it, because I don't care, but, like, still, I just know that it hurts me to upload that shit, right? That's why I'm live commentating and getting my ass whooped, because I'm trying not to focus on the damn game. Why are you so damn sweaty, bro? This- Oh my god, I hate this fucking game mode. Dude, this isn't ranked. Calm your fucking tits, bro. You're not gonna win anything from this. Come here. Fuck you. But I mean- Oh my god, he's already back. So like- Shit, I really don't have that many stories to tell because I look I play fucking uh, dude I don't only play video. I play fucking mobile games, right? So all I do I sit on my ass all day playing fucking mobile games How interesting do you think my damn life gets it does not get very interesting, right? Although I guess I can tell a story before I turned into this degenerate piece of shit, right? So all right, you know, we'll go back to the sixth grade However the fuck you pronounce it, okay? So, like, from 5th to 6th, right, I went from, like, literally not even 5 foot to 5 6, okay? It was pretty epic, right? And with this newfound ability, I was still in the same school, right? My man, I just slapped you with ARs. Why the fuck do you want... What do you think's gonna happen now? Whatever. But, like, with this newfound height I've had, right? I was... It was fucking good my 6th year, dude. I actually had like cool shit teachers and um also my friend got us banned from sitting together because well about a week into christmas break not christmas break but like a week into like the month of december when our teacher was like trying to be nice letting us like choose our own seats again my uh my friend eric dude fucking i love that dude he's hilarious as shit no homo i don't think he even watches my content he's a great dude but fucking we're, we're all sitting around and he screams out yo is santa claus black i mean like it's you interpret what you damn want from that, right? But the teacher was having none of this shit. She's like, bro, she fucking gave him the death stare. Really, Eric? You're gonna say that? So we, we gotta sign seats once more. Bro, I honestly, dude, the memories I made in the sixth grade, I wish I could go back to that time, dude. Not a care in the fucking world. Like, oh, that was great. And I, Fortnite was, wait, was Fortnite good there? No, I don't think Fortnite was, oh, you bitch. I don't think Fortnite was good back then. It might have been. Wait, was Fortnite even? Okay, um, I'm, I don't feel like doing the count. Why the fuck am I stuck on this? Hey! Jesus Christ, your aim is shit, dog. I know mine's no better, but at least I can fucking hit you from across the map. Oh, Mr. Head Glitch, huh? Okay, so my excuse for that is I had my thumb, like, really far out and i couldn't like move it anymore no nah, but like for you do not i care in the world shit was just popping off i don't know I, I think i was like i don't know what game i was big on though i know i had my xbox one still and i had a shitty laptop which is why like i got into mobile gaming because like my xbox none of my friends wanted to play that shit no more okay they all had pcs and shit right you know what i was fucking stuck on xbox one the first gen i still have that thing dude whenever i have people over dude like we're watching movies and shit on that like, low-key on God. I mean, I've started to be playing Origins on that shit again, dude. Bro, low-key, comment right now. You guys want to see, like, a Zombies video, dude? I'd be so fucking down to do that. But, yeah. Basically. But, you know. Bro, honestly, I like the video if you guys want to see a fucking Zombies video. Like, on Origins or Buried. I would love to do that shit. But I won't do any of the DLCs because I'm a bitch. Or just more VR content. Like, honestly, I'm open to do anything after I move the Pixelgon 3D from my name. Because I don't have to conform to one type of content. By the way, I... I, I okay, I kind of want to make a hand cam video. But... Like, no. Oh, hi, man. 
that guy is fucking mad. I think this is a robot. I don't know. Well, if it is, let me still commentate. So, like I said, I've already set up the storyline for this, right? I have newfound height. And you know what that means, bro? That shit means I have now, like, I can jump up and, like, be one of the cool kids that, like, hit the fucking door frame on their way out. I didn't even have to jump up at this height, but, like, you know what's up, right? You know, you're one of those cool kids when you walk out of the room, you gotta... You gonna come around the fucking corner, bro? Oh, yeah, he is! Oh, I love kids like this. Let me go smack him with an AR. Neom. Neom. But, yeah. Like, basically... Oh, shit be poppin', dog. So, we're, I'm one of the cool kids now that can, like, just walk out the room, touch the shits. It's like, mmm, barry. That's good. That, that's some good shit right there. That's cool as hell. Okay, so... It's like, what the fuck are you? This, look at this man. What the fuck? Okay, bro. Hey, what are you still in there? Hold up. Mini map, bro. Where the fuck you at? That's where the fuck you at. Hold that, bitch. No. You... Oh my fucking god. He actually about to fucking win. I'm dicking around. He actually about to fucking win. All right, one sec. I'm cutting this shit real quick. Come here, bitch. Come the fuck it. Okay. Anyways. So this is like... This isn't even halfway through the year. This is like end of the year shit, right? And I'm like... Yo, Jake. Which is another one of my good friends. He's probably gonna watch this video. I'm like, yo, Jake. I'm gonna go hit this clock. And he's like, no. I don't know if he told me... I don't know if he said better. Don't do it. I think he said... Yeah, I think he's like, alright, bet. So I run. I go for it. And I fucking miss. Like, I miss horribly. Like, motherfucker. I sh the fuck is that fuck you but like this shit was terrible okay like i missed completely it, i damn shrunk near five inches when i made this jump right so i'm like yo jake i should go back for round two he's like no don't I'm like, you know fuck you i'm gonna do it so you know what fuck it i went and did it and as a result of that I actually ended up damn near kneeling. Nailing. You gonna fucking come up here? I mean, I have ample time to talk while I smoke this retard. So, you know, I mean, like, it was a bad idea. I shouldn't have done that. But you know what? I fucking did it. And as a result, I actually hit the clock. Now, thing is, is I hit the clock a wee bit too hard. Um, what makes this story interesting is what happens after the fact of me hitting the clock too hard and realizing, oh shit! So I smacked the face of the clock pretty good, and there was like this black fucking line. That, you know you have to kill me, right? Like, you lose if you don't kill me. Fuck you. Anyways, so like, I hit the face of this clock, okay? And I think I have a picture on my Instagram or somewhere in one of like my private Discord servers. And the clock doesn't, like, the clock itself doesn't fall down. What the fuck? The clock itself doesn't fall down, right? But what does happen to fall down is the face of the clock. I ought to kill you for clownery. Oop, can't hit me. Can't hit me. Oop, can't hit me. Aw, oh, I missed. Oop, can't hit me. Oopsie, I don't have reach. Hi. Oh, you're behind me. Oop, can't hit me. Oop, can't hit me. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Got him. Yeah, but like... Oh, dude, I'm fucking raping this kid. He's so mad right now. Dude, this kid's tight as shit, right? Like, you know, he's so fucking... I need a trophy system back, actually. Come here. Oop. Oop. We, we suck. Oh, you suck. Just kidding. Oh, oh, whoa, we grow. Whoa, the shirt mine's coming out, boys. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Ooh, what are we gonna do? Come on. Got him. Yeah, but like, so the face of the clock itself, not, not like the time hand thing. The time hand. Like, the fucking, the plastic covering to keep retards like me from breaking the actual clock comes down, right? 
and then like this ring around it that like like the plastic ring that holds the like plastic thing onto the clock is now around my fucking shoulders somehow like it fell down right and where the story gets interesting is we're walking to lunch i didn't mention this shit right we come to like this intersection of hallways right and we're sitting there chilling You know what? I'm gonna do it to him. So, you know, we're sitting there chilling, right? And it occurs to us that, oh, okay, well, now that I hit it, I gotta go to lunch. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm dicking around. I'm sorry. You know what? I'm just gonna leave this clip in here and whatever f fucking words I conjured up. Okay, cool. So, um, like, there's, like, this intersection of hallways, right? The right one leads down to a long-ass hallway that has, I think, fourth grade and the office uh the one to the left is where th that's the one to the left is where we're going that's to another hallway that curves around and goes into the lunchroom and then straight ahead it what the fuck is that thing okay i'm sorry if you're mentally disabled or physically disabled i just made fun of you i really am because that's what it fucking looks like trust me i'm no god of looks but jesus christ I, that might actually be like an autistic kid, bro. I shouldn't say that shit. What if it is? That's not even me being mean. Like, I'm not joking, dude. I, I actually feel bad. But anyways, so, like, the clock is at the end of this hallway that leads into the- Is that a fucking HBAR, bro? Oh my fucking- Okay, I thought it was. It's just the AK-117. So, you know, we're walking down this- No, fuck me, I can't speak for shit. So, the clock is at the very end of this hallway before, like, the intersection, like, crossroads hits. And I'm sitting there now with my friends fucking laughing their asses off. Me with the fucking, like, evidence around my shoulder. I don't have time to get this shit off of me. And right before we turn to go to lunch, the fucking vice principal and their little assistant walks around the other fucking hallway. And I'm like, well, shit, boys. We, we've we had a good run. But, but the fucking weird thing is, is I, there are no cameras down either of these hallways to see me doing the act of... Oh. You gonna... Oh, there you are. Uh, his fucking aim, bro. Jeez, this is a robot. But there are no cameras, right? So this is uh, this is already going good for me. Um, and they walk around the corner, and my huge brain as a sixth grader is like, play dumb. So they walk around the corner, and their first reaction is like, all right, who did that? And I fucking swear to God, I shit you not, my brain resorted to the uh, surfer bra voice, and I said, it wasn't made it. It fucking. No, fuck, I didn't say it wasn't- No, I didn't say it wasn't me, I was like, DUDE, THE CLOCK FELL ON ME. I SHIT YOU NOT, EXACTLY FUCKING LIKE THAT. THAT IS WHAT I FUCKING SAID. Uh, dude, it fell on me, bro. And they're like, okay, whatever, we'll fix it later, and they fucking walk away. Like, literally, the fucking ring is around my shoulder, I didn't even pull it off of me. And they're like, just go to lunch. I was- Dude, that entire day, I fucking, like- I was in fucking- I was in fear that I was gonna get called down to the office for being a dumbass bitch, okay? I was like, dude, it's fucking over for me. I'm- They're gonna sue me, okay? They're gonna take my children. They're gonna fucking prosecute me, okay? And it ended up nothing happening. I got away with it. And, um, I'm gonna put a picture, hopefully, on screen of the clock itself, because I have it on my Instagram, my meme page, I'll, I'll link that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Here, let me 5 all this guy, because I feel like bringing this back. I fucking love the Corda, it's so broken. This doesn't even have a foregrip, what the fuck? What the fuck? I, this is gonna kick so fucking hard. Why'd I pick this? I think there might be a challenge for you, like, LMG kills. Or this guy just might... I can't say that, because he probably is looking at his profile picture. Dude, I'm not even trying to be fucking mean. Like, I'm genuinely not even trying to. I'm so sorry if that's what it sounds like. 
but you know this like amazes me to this day oh they never fixed it by the way like last day of school is when i received this is when i like snuck this photo in they never fucking fixed it bruv and i hope that i will always remain the one kid that was dumb enough to break the fucking clock by accident so, I mean, I will always remem be remembered as the kid who f fucking broke a clock without even trying. I wasn't trying to. I was genuinely just this fucking stupid. Cool, and I have to wait another fucking 10 minutes to talk while I get into a damn match. You look like an ELA teacher, dog. Bro, speaking that of, I was sitting in class this year, okay? Now, I don't talk to anybody in class because I'm not, I'm not even that I'm anti, so I fucking hate the people in my school. Like, there, there are the slim few that I'm cool with, right? And those are the people that I low-key fuck with because they're the only people that are, like, fucking intelligent there, I swear to God, right? Like, oh, I fucking hate, I wish I had a fight story, but, like, fucking all of them are pussies and none of them would actually want to fight you in school. They're like, nah, nah, dude, meet me here, meet me here. Like, they, they'll just keep fucking backing out of it until you eventually, like, don't put up with their bullshit. Then they're like, oh, dude, you're a pussy, you didn't show up. Like, they're all that type of fucking people. Right, so, like, I'm fucking, I was sitting in class one day, right? We were reading a damn book and I, this fucking teacher calls me a weeaboo. I'm like, what? What do you mean, bro? Okay, so, like, we were going over, like, what we did, like, in the past years, and anybody that's been through 8th grade or 7th has read the fucking Alchemist, right? You're gonna try to knife me. Oh my god, this guy is fucking- okay. Alright, bet. We- no, we can knife, bro. Come here. Since you wanna act the damn fu- actually, we're not knifing. Fuck you. I'm not even aiming in. That's disrespect. Fuck you, bro. Fuck you, bro. So we were reading the out like well, we weren't reading the outcomes, but we were going over like shit that we've read in the past years, and anybody that's been through eighth or seventh grade has read The Alchemist. Well, actually, I fucking didn't. I read about half of the book and looked up reviews on it online. I'm a good student. So, like, we were you fucking like I asked the teacher, like, oh shit, the the alchemist, what the f what was that even about? Because I didn't read the damn book, bro. I, f I said, fuck that. I genuinely didn't know what the hell the book was about. Well, I mean, I kind of do. It's like some fucking life. Dude, the more I say, the more, like, the less intelligent I'm going to sound. Which wouldn't be a problem. I'm already not, I'm already not intelligent, right? But, like, I was like, you know, wait, what the fuck is an alchemist again? I think some, you turn, it's some, you work on fucking meadows, okay? I don't know. I don't fucking care. But it's like that, right? And he looks at me, he's like, you should know. Don't you watch those, like, one Japanese shows? That, like, it's about alchemy. I think he's talking about, uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. But I, he was like, like, bro, you can't fucking do me like that, dog. You can't call me a weeb in front of the rest of the class. Like, I don't even converse with them, okay? I dress normal when I go to school. I don't have an Ahegeo hoodie on, right? I don't talk about anime in school. But this motherfucker knew. He saw through me, bro. Like, I was, bro, I, I was betrayed. I was backstabbed. I was like, damn it, bro. What the hell? I was a, he's a cool teacher, though, bro. I was, that, he's a low-key cool teacher, though. We are like, ah, damn. You did me like that, bro. So, I mean, I probably could tell, I, I don't, okay, let me, let me get into the game before I say more. Look, I don't have many stories from school or even outside of school. Like, cause I mean, I, I live a pretty basic life, bro. Honestly, and I have shit memory. Like, my my stories will come to me at like four in the fucking morning when I'm trying to damn sleep, right? I mean, I don't think I even have like a near death story, do I? No, I don't. I'm, that's. I mean, I guess I have one actually. I, I guess I'll fucking tell it. So this was like a while ago. Like, I'm talking like elementary age, right? And I was, okay, so for context, I pretty much got raised by my grandma because my parents were always working their asses off at a job. So I got sent to my grandma's house who was retired. So, you know, they could work their ass off and, you know, have a good life for me, right? You know, as you, as you do. So my grandma pretty much raised me and I wanted to learn how to swim from like a very young age without like the floaties and shit, you know, fuck that pussy shit. Uh, so my grandma was like, okay, are you sure? Like, you know, she helped me learn how to fucking swim. It, oh, ne bro, this
So, you know, like, shit was good, because she taught me how to swim pretty much. So, like, I swear to God, from age five, I was able to swim completely fine without floaties. I might have been, like, age six. It might, it might have even been younger. I swear to f I'm not even making this shit up as a flex. I've always been pretty good at swimming, right? Ooh, God damn it! fucking shoot. <clears throat> But I was in this pool over, like, my one mom's friend's house, and she had this, like, kid. I think I was, like, seven at the time now. But I'm just setting this up so you know that I knew how to fucking swim. I wasn't, like, fucking stupid, or I wasn't, like, untaught. And, like, this little sh like, he she had a diving board. I was, like, they were pretty- I don't know if they're even wealthy. This had a nice-ass pool, okay? And they had a diving board with a deep end, right? So I'm like, fuck yeah, dog. So I jump in there. I I'm chilling. Like, I went to the bottom. I dove to the fucking bottom. Which I, I probably wasn't even like five, six foot looking back at it. But, I, you know, I go to the bottom and her little shit child fucking jumps on top of me and holds me down. I like I can't make this shit up. He's like two years younger than me. I'm in the pool at the bottom. This little fucker jumps on me. Because, you know what, bro? Like, I mean, to be fair, I was not intelligent as a kid. But I definitely wasn't this fucking stupid. So, I mean, like, I could call it near death because I couldn't fucking breathe for a goddamn... What seemed like eternity, right? I mean, of course I didn't fucking drown because guess what? I'm talking right now. I happen to live and I'm not like traumatized of pools either. I fucking love- I hate the drains in them, but I fucking love swimming. Like, catch me at the pool where I live like literally every day at, in summer. I mean, now I hate doing it because I'm forced to go there, but I, I do like swimming, okay? I guess I'm gonna fill in more stories with like shit that I've already- like, tr like, moments that should be traumatizing that just fucking aren't. So, like, okay, I have had dogs my entire life. Like, literally from when I was a kid, my parents have had dogs. And because of that, you know, I fucking love dogs, bro. They're the best animals in my opinion. Like, I don't hate cats, but, like, dude, I, fuck I just love my dogs. Like, they're, they're the best things ever. I mean, okay, look, I fucking hate pit bulls, right? But this year, um, uh, fucking, I guess I'll tell the full story, the full sad story, so you can feel, so, you know, I, I can seem like a better person. But basically, um, so we have, like, this fat pit bull now. Her name is Mia. She's 120 pounds. She's a big bitch. I call her BB. <laughs> Every time I call her BB, everyone's like, oh, that's a cute name. Why is her name BB? Big bitch. I mean, that's what she is. She's a lovable dog, but oh my. But that bitch is fucking, she's fat, right? It's not muscle. It's fat. Uh, this guy's typing out his love letter to me, so while he's doing that, basically, my mom's friend, like, I think her husband died of cancer, and they couldn't, like, they couldn't handle the dog, like, they weren't able to fucking keep her anymore, so they were, you know, they were gonna put her down, and they were looking for, uh, you know, like, an owner to give her to, pretty much, they were gonna put her down, or fuck, um, my mom overheard them, they were gonna put her down, and my mom was, like, volunteered to take her home, because, like, we love dogs, and we normally have two, but my dog Shadow had recently passed away. So we're like, you know, we, we're looking for another dog, right? And I was gonna knife him, speed this shit up. And you know, my mom was like, okay, well, we'll take her. So about like three, maybe a month, three months later, we, my mom actually goes and picks her up. Now we were told that this was a black Labrador, right? Which was what we actually previously had. We, we always, we, like, we always have Labrador's. My fucking dad loves them. Because they're, like, super loyal, right? And we were told this is a black lab. Not a fucking fat one, either. Uh, my mom goes and picks her up. And on her way home, she calls me. She's like, yeah, it's not a Labrador. I'm like, well, what the fuck is it, then? And she's like, you'll see when she gets home, but it's a big dog. So I'm sitting there playing Counter-Strike on my laptop. And, the, and this fucking huge pit bull just walks down the steps, walks over to me, and fucking snorts at me. That was the impression I got from this dog. She snorts still. You know, I might even go record a video for her snorting. She's asleep right now. She sleeps all day and I love it. She's like the cutest thing. Oh, your eyes! <laughs> I thought you were asleep. Yeah! Get a snort for the camera. Thank you. Yeah, bro! <laughs> That's what this dog's all about. All about snorting. Look at her. He's a big dog. I love her though. Cutest thing. For being a fat dog. But like, I'm only bringing up that we still get dogs now because I'm pretty sure this could be traumatizing to like a bunch of other people. 
or maybe it just should have been traumatizing. So when I was young, um, I was over a neighbor's house and their dog ripped my fucking lip off. I was just petting him. And I don't know if he was trying to bite my lip off or just, like, got fucking alarmed or was just trying to, like, play around. I think it was my bottom lip or top lip. I could probably call my mom and ask that, like, it didn't get ripped off completely. It was hanging on, but he fucking bit it and, well, pretty much hanging on by a fucking thread. So, you know... I did, uh, sadly, I don't actually remember any of this stuff because I was very young at the time. I do remember being in the hospital eating fucking crackers though, right? This is the only thing I remember from this entire experience. I mean, I'm only saying, because that should probably be a pretty traumatizing thing. You know, you get your bit, your, your lip bitten by a fucking dog at a young age when you're very impressionable. That should probably be like, oh, I don't like dogs anymore. Fuck these things, right? But nah, I, I still love dogs, bro. I mean, I ended up being fine. I think my mom still says, like, it's pretty surprising I don't have a scar on my lip from, you know, getting it sewed back. And it's probably because I was very young that there's not a scar. But, you know, I mean, those neighbors were great, but their dogs were little shits, honestly. There's, like, those little fucking tiny fluffy dog that, oh, they look cute as hell, but they're little shits, dude. They're fucking, I would not want, they're little shits, like... There's literally nothing else to describe them. They're the worst fucking dogs ever. They're cute, but they're fucking mean. I don't like them. Okay, we just made him leave. I mean, I'm gonna wrap this video up here because I have a headache from screaming and I'm hungry. I am lightheaded right now because I, I ate a fucking slice of pizza and I got three hours of sleep. I also completed Half-Life Alyx today. That's a fucking great game. Um, anyways, I'm gonna head out, you know, you guys asked for a story video, I made one, uh, if you guys actually stayed for, like, I, look, bro, if you stayed for this entire video, fuck yeah, bro, I might even start, like, if I, if I get money, I'll start putting codes at, like, the, the, uh, at, like, random points throughout my video, mainly at the end for the people that actually care enough to watch through. I'm sorry about the mic quality, but I'm not using my big microphone that takes a lot of fucking storage to record with, okay? But yeah, bro, let's enjoy the video. Oh, dude, if you stayed around, fucking sick, dog. Uh, shit. Follow my Instagram, I guess, if you want to. But yeah, uh, let me change my avatar, oh, dude. Fucking get this ugly thing off of me. What the fuck? What the fuck is this thing? Get that motherfucker off me, dude. Want the full lolly, okay? Anyway, boys, that's it for this video. Oh, shit, I'm gonna head out. I'm tired. I'm gonna load me some ramen. This video will probably be up on Wednesday. How oh, are you guys doing good during quarantine? Shit, that's y'all on the host side, bros. Look, I'm just saying that that little skrrr at the end of the video was weak, so I'm gonna do a good one.